Hello, back again. Just going to be showing you how to set up Samba on a Raspberry Pi. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the Raspberry Pi website. And we want to go to Downloads, uh, Raspbian. Just scroll down. I'm going to be using the Buster Lite. Just download the zip. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel that. Just close that down. Right, I'm going to be using a bit of software called Etcher to burn the image. So I select the image. Just go to my downloads. Just double click on it. Uh, that's my SD card and then just click flash once it gets going I'll uh, fast forward through this bit And uh, that's all done. I'll just close Etcher. Thing you want to do now is unplug the SD card from your PC, and then you want to plug it back in again because we need to add a little file to the SD card. Let me just close that and close that one. Go into File Explorer into the SD card and thing you want to do you want to add a text document and put SSH and thing you want to do is remove the dot T what's it a TXT and then yes so all you want in there is SSH now you can unplug the SD card and now plug it into your Raspberry Pi and turn your Raspberry Pi on for the first time. Right, the thing we're going to do now is uh, log into the uh, Raspberry Pi using a bit of software called Putty. And we need the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. If you're not too sure, just have a look in your router. Or you can use a bit of software called Advanced IP Scanner, which is free. And that'll scan your network and show you the IP address. So I'll just log into my Pi, 192.168.1.121. Then just click open. Just click yes. I'll just move this to the center. Uh, default, uh, default login is Pi. And then password is Raspberry. But the thing is, I'm going to change the default password. So just type pass WD. Uh, just use Raspberry again for current password. And then enter in your new password. Just enter in the password, click enter, then enter it in again. And click enter. Right, that's done. I'll just open up my uh, cheat sheet. Just move that over. First thing we do, we'll... Uh, update the Raspberry Pi so just copy that bit of text right click to paste it in and that's done now we click the uh, second bit of uh, text to upgrade the Raspberry Pi just right click and then enter. You want to click Y for yes. I'll fast forward through this part. And 
and uh, that's done. Right, now we're going to install Samba. So just copy this bit of text. Copy, right click to paste and just press enter again. Uh, just Y for yes again and enter. Uh, just click enter again on no. And that part's done. I'm going to be using the two NTFS drives. So uh, I presume it's classed as a driver, so we're going to install that now. So just copy the text. Copy. Right click to paste, then enter again. Uh, y for yes. And enter. And that's done. Thing we uh, we're going to do now is find the UUID of the two hard drives I'm using. So I'm just going to copy this bit of text. We use a, a UUID, so when we mount them, mount the two drives. So just right click to paste it and enter again. As you can see, I've got two drives. I've got a, uh, a sand disk and a Seagate. And as you can see, I've got a UUID after the sand disk. So I'm just going to copy it. Just highlight it to copy it. And I'm just going to paste it into this uh, uh, text. Ooh, let's do that again. Right click and paste. I'm going to be calling that USB 1. Now I'm just going to copy the U, 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 UUID of the second drive. Just highlight it to copy it. Now I'm just going to paste it into this text and paste. And I'm going to call that drive USB 2. Right, now we're going to uh, mount the hard drives. So every time you restart the Pi, they automatically get mounted. So just copy that bit of text, right click to paste, then press enter again. Just use the down arrow on your keyboard to get to the bottom line. Just going to copy this text. And copy. And paste it in. Right, that's done. All you want to do now is Control X on your keyboard, then Y, then Enter to save it. Right now, we're going to set up the Samba shares. So just copy the bit of text. Just right click to paste and enter again. Just use the down arrow on your keyboard to get to the bottom. I'm sure there's a keyboard uh, shortcut to do this, but just use your down key on your keyboard. There we go. Right, I've already got a folders on these two drives. One is called movies. So I'm going to show you how to mount if you've already got a folder on the drive. And as you can see, I've, it's USB 1 which matches what we did earlier, USB 1. I'm going to make sure they match and the folder is movies, which is already on the drive. So I'm just going to copy that and copy. And right click to paste. Just press enter to drop down the line. The thing I'll do, I'll show you now how to get root access to the drive as well. 
and the thing is I'm just going to call it stuff and USB 1 I'm just going to change this to uh, stuff and USB 1 as well right to get root access, uh, access now all you want to do I'm just going to remove movies and all you want is uh, forward slash so it's USB 1 forward slash and that'll give you root access to the drive so I'm just going to copy it and right click to paste just print, uh, press enter on your keyboard to drop down the line now this is the second hard drive I've already got a folder on it called TV with some files in it and it's going to be mounted as USB 2 and the path is USB 2 as well they have to match them two because it's the other drive so I'm just going to copy it all and copy and right click to paste I'll go over it again now to, sh uh, to get root access to the hard drive so I'm just going to call this one stuff and USB 2 and comment the same again stuff you can call it anything you like it's entirely up to you and USB 2 and we do the same again you just want forward slash and the path is USB 2 for the second hard drive So I'm just going to copy it and copy just press enter to drop down the line and right click to paste it in right that's all done now so it's uh, control X again on your keyboard and then Y for yes and then just press enter to save it and uh, that's all done now that's all set up the thing I'm gonna do now is reboot the Raspberry Pi so it's sudo and reboot right the Raspberry Pi is rebooting now so I can just press OK I'll just minimize that and minimize that so that's everything set up now so I'll just wait for the Raspberry Pi to reboot well, it shouldn't take too long Right, again to my network. If the Raspberry Pi doesn't show up, just uh, click refresh. And there's my Raspberry Pi. And as you see, I've got the movie folder, got the TV folder. So I'll just go into movies. And there's the files I already had on there. I'll just double check. So I've got read access bit of uh, Battlestar Galactica, the original version. I think that's Colonel Ty. Just close that down. Go into TV. Yep, I've already got a folder in there. As you see, I've got write access as well. I can create folders. And I'll create a text document in there as well. So I've got read and write access and this is root into the drives. So I can create a folder anywhere I want to. Just test, yep. And the USB 2. So that's uh, everything done. So as always, uh, I hope this video's helped and uh, goodbye.